Good morning, it's 8.30 a.m. on a Sunday and today I decided that this is the day where I move in and nest in this apartment. I feel that it's time for me to just start living in it even if it's not perfect, even if there is a mess all over the place. So what happened is that last weekend my focus was on bringing all of my things from my storage and from my sister's place. So I was essentially a mule and I was just bringing all things, trying to fold as much as possible, trying to squeeze as much as possible, everything here in my in my closet, etc. And then during the week, I was focused on actually um, doing all my administrative work. So you have seen that in my administrative health vlog, where I was talking about all the paperwork that I was supposed to do and coming back and forth, etc, etc. So, I could actually spend a bit more time, you know, going back and forth between my storage and my sister's place, etc. But I decided that I would bring one last load of things here and there. And that actually today, I'm not going to try to squeeze anything, but actually I'm going to nest in. What that means is that anything that does not get put away in, a, in its place will actually be just stored in suitcases. I will store everything in suitcases, stuck them neatly. And then I will just do my bed and prepare my and prepare my kitchen and all these kind of things. And as of tonight, I'm going to start living in this place. Now, of course, the space is still an issue because I don't have as much space as I would have wanted. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to live here for a bit. And next week, I can always go and get some more things from my storage, etc. And... Uh, I will assess the clothes that I have, I will assess the things that I have, and I feel like in a month or two months, I will be able to have a few empties, I will have some clothes for donations, I will realize that some clothes are not even donatable. So, I will just get started with this. But first, I wanna locate my debit card because I think I lost it yesterday. And second, I'm gonna go downstairs and try to find some breakfast and then get started. I'm not going to, to have this Sunday be one labor day like all the other ones so i just decided that i'm going to take it easy i will check in on you guys in about two or three hours you know because i still need to go find breakfast eat it etc but then you will see a little bit in this vlog how i'm actually moving from trying to just shove everything everywhere to you know try to make it a livable space and nesting in it so let's get started with this Hey guys, it's a bit later in the day. I was out with my sister. I'm wearing just a smoke dress because it's Sunday and we have already decided that Sunday is going to be family day, right? But in the meantime, I kind of organized a little bit my kitchen. It still looks messy, but to me, it looks organized. I have my little things from Zara organized over there, all my little storage over there. And then I have prepared my gym bag because next week I'm going to start going to the gym. So I hope I will really do that. Then I have a few things that I want to return. So it's from work. And then I have just my laundry over there just drying. Um, I also made my bed. I still need to buy some little cushions and things like that. But I've made my bed and I'm very happy about that. And now I'm just going to have a bath. So, I missed having a bathtub, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I got all my um, hair things out, I'm gonna just do my hair. And be behind me, you can see my cabinet, which is full to the brim, meaning that at some point I'm gonna have to just stop buying things, right? Um, but that's that, so that's the update for today. I'm probably gonna go to sleep relatively early today just because I have things to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be a busy day. Uh, I will probably vlog in a couple days. Hey, I'm at work. It's the first morning since I have moved to my place. I slept like a baby. The bedding feels like a hotel. I like having doubled on the on the like the pillows because it really feels like a hotel. So I really like that. And uh, I also have a cleaning lady, so she came this morning because I wanted to do a deep clean to the apartment. I just feel like because it wasn't lived in for a bit, it just had so much dust and I didn't want to spend my first night just dusting. So I just hired somebody to do that for me while I'm at work right now. And um, what else? My chest of drawers is arriving today, so that's very exciting. And yeah. Hey, I just got back from work 
and uh, I'm a bit tired because for some reason I always wake up at around 5, 5.30 maximum in the morning regardless of how, of how much I want to sleep ahead, you know. So even if I go to sleep at 11 p.m. I'm still going to wake up at 5 which is very annoying. I have the blinds down so it's not a light thing. I'm not really sure, it's just uh, it's my rhythm. But I have just arrived and uh, I did have some deliveries. So this is going to be my chest of drawers. That I have just organized what I have to organize here. And here I have this little thing for the entryway. Um, and you can tell I have so many bags and everything. So I did contact the city cleaning center just to have my recycling bags because I didn't want to toss everything, you know, like on the curb. So I have enough recycling bags. And I also bought this little Bosch thing which is just a tiny screw it's a, an automatic screwdriver that's gonna help me deal with all this diy work um i had it charged when i was working at work so i can get already started and in this box i have actually my tea kettle or so i think so i'm first going to have some water boiling make some tea and then get started with the assembly of all of this stuff so that i can start putting things away because i i'm just not happy with the clutter i'm glad that the apartment physically is clean because it, it was cleaned yesterday but just bringing in so many packages all the time is just annoying you know so i want to really get done with this phase and start living my day-to-day -day life i'm going to also open the windows but i wanted them closed while i talk to you so that you don't hear a lot of the cars and that is when i realized that i don't have a hammer so i tried to go really run very quickly to a hardware store but they all close at six so no luck uh so what that means is that i'm gonna try to do everything that doesn't require a hammer in the meantime, I did some grocery shopping and um, I'm gonna go tomorrow morning and try to get a hammer and do this. It's a bit of a disappointment, but fine. I'm gonna try to do as much as possible that doesn't require a hammer. I also have the other thing to, to put uh, together, so maybe it doesn't require a hammer. We'll see. tired today so I'm going to go to sleep a bit early because I feel like I'm dehydrated that's why I'm getting a headache I realized that I don't have a nail polish remover and I have this happening to my nails so I'm gonna go with these ratchet nails until tomorrow I go to boots and try to find something to fix this but in the meantime I thought I would show you a bit the progress in my apartment it's pretty messy you know it's at that stage when things just go all over the place before it gets better so um i keep getting deliveries almost every day because i'm just you know setting everything up but um let me show you here is the entryway i have my first bag of recycling this is normal trash i have a problem with my shoes in that they have become very gross and these are the shoes that i take every day whenever i go to work um it's just that they have gotten to the stage where they're stinky so i'm gonna leave them out for a few days um and try to google some solutions maybe buy some baking soda or something but that's just gross so i need to clean them or i will have to just get rid of them then these are my sneakers that i'm wearing tomorrow to work my sandals a bit more recycling but these are too big and i was just too lazy to break them before i have finally emptied this bag i still have this many suitcases that i need to empty but i'm not gonna do it this week also this bag that I'm not gonna empty this week and this suitcase that I'm not gonna empty this month so it's almost um, chronologically this is something that I wanted to be done with today these I will address next week and these I will address next month and here is just stuff that I usually take to my office I like to go back and forth this little bag from Avon has really held up really 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 well pretty impressed with the quality of it because it's been going through hell as I went through this move I still haven't assembled this I probably do it over the weekend um, yeah and I got some sketchbooks and these are for my mentor things like that now if you go to the room I love my bed it just feels like a hotel the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some cushions and then when it gets colder I'm gonna add some throws and a duvet etc uh, my closet still looks 
like before I would slowly get rid of a few things but I really want to live in this apartment enough for me to see what I'm gonna need or not and my proudest achievement is gonna be my uh, beauty section like my my bedside tables are still pretty messy but my beauty section I should probably film a, like a makeup collection by my windowsill I have my neutral nail polishes and then my mostly red nail polishes and over here I have my makeup so this is my everyday makeup station that's where I keep things that I use on a daily basis very simple all products are actually curated I use pretty much everything that is in this section on a daily basis because I have to come to this mirror to do my makeup just because I can't really see much without my glasses so I really have to be really close then I have my fragrances from Jo Malone. I have these three. I also have another one in my bag. It's a smaller one. And <clears throat> that's what I use on a daily basis. I decided I wanted to put all my pens here just so that I know exactly what pencils I have. So that every time that I'm tempted to go and buy something, I remember that I have this spot. I'm very visual as a person. And so just knowing that I have this thing filled with all of these pencils will ensure that I don't go and buy something new then same thing here I have my lipsticks and then I have organized this a little bit I'll probably do a makeup collection I don't know if it's gonna be interesting but yeah so that's that and I have also stuffed as much as possible in these drawers I'm very proud that I built them it took me three hours to build this stuff um, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome I decided not to put anything more on top although I have quite a few things just because I don't want my room to become cluttered all of a sudden so it's going to just remain like that um, but I really like the vibe of the room I'm building this thing so I kind of had to go and buy a screwdriver because I couldn't use uh, the electric one also got me a nail polish remover fruit scone this is my guilty pleasure every time i will have my fruit scone from dales ford organic this is like has become my favorite shop in london and then i went to muji to pick this toiletry bag because i want to set my uh gym attire in there I like gym gym toiletries and then here i just bought tons of crossfit bras from reebok i don't do crossfit i'm not one of those people but it's the only bra that actually fits perfectly so I bought four of these because they were on sale and I'm going to toss the other bras that I had which were from many 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 years ago um, I just got my groceries so I have these for my weekend snacks I don't take snacks during the week just because I get them for free at work I got more spices a lot of salt uh, i finally got to fill this one but i have lots of things here so i'm gonna be just doing a lot of cooking and then i have these little microwave rice where you have two portions i absolutely love these just because i can take them with me at work and put them in the microwave for two minutes uh what else did i have hmm I have like uh, all the pantry stocking. I got some uh, fish meat and I, so I have tuna, sardines, other sardines. And then I got some pulses like chickpeas, butter beans and red beans. And then here I have homemade bagels because I wanna start making my own bagel breakfast. And then some pita bread, peanut butter, coffee and things like that. The coffee is not actually for me, just in case my sister visits. I ended up getting the remainder of the Zara order, so I got my bigger plates. And I just got some knives for my everyday use in the kitchen. And these are the Rolls Royce of steak knives. So I have figured, I really like a good steak, right? The brand is called Lapiole. And it's typically made in Tiers. Tiers, whatever. I'm not even sure how, how it's pronounced, but anyway. But the thing is, I'm not going to be able to afford having the awesome steaks that I used to have in Germany. So I'm going to cook my own, uh, buy organic meat and, and, and make my own. And then here, I bought three little butter knives. I don't need to have six of them, right? And then this is my little grill. So I'm pretty happy about that. What else? Oh, that's about it actually. So here I have 
stocks my fridge i like tony quarter uh, this is a slightly more premium thing it's called fever tree most british people here use it for gin and tonic for me it's just an upgrade from schweppes that i used to have as a kid um that's uh oh, i don't have eggs i started meal prepping so this is the first thing for monday but i still need to make a couple more boxes and i also need to buy some um veggies for me to be able to do that and you know i just have some meats my favorite cheese is cheddar so i have the medium i have the old one i even have individual por portions over there you can see them inside the box and i also like soft cheese like brie and then again from this forward i'm having my organic salmon this one i'm going to use for breakfast i might actually show you what i do for breakfast but um it depends on whether it's going to be interesting or not we'll see Right, so I have just finished, and that's the finished product. I'm kind of proud of what I did here. It kind of fits the space, and the color matches, so happy with that. I just made some pasta, so it's penne with bolognese, and I added some spinach as always. And I made extra sauce so that I don't have to spend a lot of time doing that next time. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge when it cools off and I'm going to just eat that. And because I don't have any pans, I actually had to cook the pasta in just a bowl with water in the microwave. <laughs> that was fun. Given that pasta is my favorite dish, it was about time I get some pasta bowls. So I'm very, very happy to be eating this. And then I'm going to just clean a little bit around me and go to sleep. <laughs> 